Cards with a K is a game of light strategy which pits the powers of World War II, deck versus deck, card versus card, and we're going to take a look at it here today on Legendary Tactics. The game of cards was brought to my attention by a friend who knows we have a channel that covers this type of game, and I hadn't heard of it to be honest. Um, but it's a it's an interesting game of light strategy, um, maybe similar in some ways to I don't know Magic or Netrunner or something along those lines. Uh, for the first game that I'm going to show you here, I'm going to um, take the Soviet Union and put them against Germany and see how I do. So. Um, in the beginning, as you're going through the tutorial, as you can see, there's not a lot of decks available, but as you uh, defeat your enemy, you actually gain access to their starter decks. And so, um, in this case, uh, you have each uh, HQ with 20 sort of hit points, um, and uh, you, you draw a hand of cards, you can take a mulligan uh, if you like, um, and uh, each card is going to have credits at, with a K <laughs> at the top left and uh, that will allow you to put them into play and they're going to be either units and you can see for example the uh, i16 ishak or ishak is a three attack two defense uh, it's an air airplane obviously air, air unit there's uh, tanks there's uh, infantry um, and they each have uh, just some or at least some of them have uh, you know abilities for example this is a a uh, card with a guard ability and so Adjacent non-guard uh, units cannot be attacked except by bombers or artillery. So um, that means if you put the the uh, guard next to your HQ, then it actually protects the HQ as well as the card to the other side. So there's a little bit of card play deciding which card goes where. I'm certainly not an expert on this, so um, I wouldn't be taking too much uh, in terms of strategy from me at this point. but. Um, there's a tank there. You can see sometimes there's events and and it ramps up. It's um you know a little bit um, uh, like some other card games I've played where you get you know it starts out where you can only do one or two actions and you get gradually more uh, you know power. Um, so there's you can see I've got two credits now. So some of the more the, those expensive cards uh, cannot be used, um, but I can put that airplane into play, and I'll do that. So, um, and it takes a credit, uh, the, the, um, the credit cost at the top is also for it uh, to move to attack. Um, this is a fighter, so they prevent uh, the uh, enemy bombers from attacking uh, any of their friends along the same battle line. Now, what, you'll see that the, uh, the one German unit advanced, so there's the front line and then there's the support line. So, um, in order to um, how I just uh, hit him with burning sky to destroy that air unit but typically you can only attack the units that are on the front line and uh, of course those take still take uh, some credits to attack and uh, you do one you do the damage and you receive the damage they, they damage each other equally so there's not a lot of randomness in combat you can kind of plan that out a little bit um, and so it's a you know, it's kind of an in, in, interesting uh, game. This one has a deployment bonus, so all friendly ground units in the front line have get an extra uh, defense. Um, it m reminds me a little bit of, um, I think the game was Charterstone or, or uh, what have you, where, um, you know, you kind of have a, 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 a line of units that you're attacking with and defending with, and they each have special abilities. Um, uh, sorry, I think Charterstone's the wrong name. I'll, it'll come to me, but anyway. Um, but uh, so we're going to spend, uh, a, you know, a credit to uh, to advance this guy to the front line. And uh, there you go. And so there's certain bonuses that uh, come into play if you're in the front line or along the support line. Um, but generally, in order to attack the, the HQ, you need to have the, uh, you know, the units in the front line in order to uh, do any damage. Um, but that's typically where the defenders on the enemy support line are going to be as well. So, um, so you know, there's. I wouldn't say this is a a, a game that's really going to, um, you know, challenge you in many in many ways. It's just a fun light game. But I think as such, it it succeeds pretty well. Um, this is the blitz ability, so they can uh, move and attack in the same turn. Um, so you can see he took advantage of that ability right there, and he's chipping chipping away. Um, 
the uh, and the, the there's the units and there's also various event effects and those are where the the sort of the flavor of the different uh, um, you, you know units you can see that that uh, unit has a bonus against uh, enemy blitz units as well um, and so you'll get more and more powerful cards there's also the capacity to uh, to grow your deck and to um, craft your deck it is you know as once we get past the starter decks here which are basically given you can actually craft your deck and make sure that um, you are um, you know you're having the best possible deck and you pit, pit it against other players and all that great stuff so that one I attacked with because the special ability was I uh, got a free unit uh, free 1-1 one, one, uh, right after that and these planes are gonna take some uh, Take some damage, but they're going to deal some damage as well. Take out a couple of uh, of units. Um, so the Russians seem to, and again, this is just based on a single play. They seem to have a, a nice um, kind of balance uh, between. We've got some really strong units. Um, so you can that one de that deploys and it does one damage to the HQ, but that's a pretty powerful unit. Seven five is pretty good. And now, as you begin to get the credits uh, up then um, you're going to uh, you're going to get the uh, the access to the greater um, number of units um, oh it's the, that game i mentioned earlier it wasn't charter stone it was hearthstone so if you've played that one then that one this this game might be a bit familiar just a different setting um, and uh, and so forth but it has the same kind of idea of crafting your deck and and uh, you know spending uh, credits in order to take certain actions and so forth but I don't know it's it's uh, it's kind of a fun game actually and and once you get kind of in the flow of it um, this is uh, kind of my first tutorial game um, you'll see it has a kind of a just a fun quick you know you can play a game in five to ten minutes and you know it's just a, a nice light uh, light uh, you know uh, game to enjoy which you sometimes need if, especially if you've been playing some heavy uh, heavier stuff you got that good guy out there um, and we'll take out the enemy there at the cost of my card but there's also a little bit of uh, card flow management as well because you're going to want to um, you, there's a limit on how many cards you can have in hand uh, how many um, cards you can have in your your support line and your front line there's another uh, ability smoke screen where uh, you can play and you can't be attacked until you either move or attack with them. So if you want to be stealthy for a little while and just yeah, hang back and uh, <laughs> where, where you're not vulnerable. I mean, that unit in particular is not especially powerful. So there's not a lot of, uh, <laughs> not a lot of value necessarily to having it hidden behind a smoke screen. But see, this is where you got to, you know, figure out, okay, I got to do a certain amount of damage here. How am I going to do this? And uh, I didn't want to waste that uh, waste that guy right away, so I was uh, thinking, well, you know what? Maybe they'll maybe that uh, that tank unit will attack uh, my um, my HQ, and then I don't have to worry about it. But um, anyway, we'll see what uh, how he reacts. And uh, he went after my my good unit, but that's fine. I uh, he lost control of the front line, and now I'm in a position to move in. And uh, I think you'll find as well that usually what happens is there's just a, a, there's a bit of a, a tide that goes back and forth. Um, so units will get eliminated and, uh, you know, typically you only draw one new card into your hand. So um, it's not necessarily um, once you've spent a lot of credits on deploying a lot of cards, sometimes you don't end up with, a, you know, a lot of op options. You may have a lot of credits, but you don't have a... The, uh, the cards in hand to do much with it so you can see he's just throwing down some some weak units he's got 15 credits but he's not really got a lot of units there to uh, to play I don't know what he's holding back but anyway we'll start loading up the front line we'll take this uh, dude out and uh, that gives us the ability to hit his HQ with impunity and again this is the tutorial as well so uh, you know it's not meant to be uh, something which completely uh <laughs> completely uh, uh domi you know it's tough to 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 pl you know play against um and uh, oh that's a good one so a little boost of some units will make this this uh, unit a a uh, pretty substantial one 
And uh, we don't really have many other usable cards, but that's okay. We can hit uh, his HQ in a big way there, and um, if he isn't careful, this game's going to be over soon. Uh, he drops some tanks in there, and uh, that gives him a, another card draw. He plays another soldier there. Um, but um, what else have we got here? So the... Uh, 10th guards which seems pretty good we're going to destroy that unit there that will basically mean it's going to be very tough for him to wipe out my uh, my unit there especially as it's been boosted so he's got a long he's got a long way to catch up at this point <laughs> so even with his smoke screens and blitzes and all that sort of thing he's not going to be able to do much because um, that unit is just too buffed up so anyway we're just uh, gonna see what what else we can do here with our our credits and we're gonna give our we destroyed that unit just to boost up our HQ just for the fun of it and that is a game of cards and that's the first game in the series we're gonna play through um, all the other uh, factions so you can see how they play uh, but we hope you enjoyed this video and got a sense of how the game cards uh, actually plays Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time here on Legendary Tactics.